All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and get this stream started. Why the hell am I streaming at 9.32 at night? I have no idea. I just uh, did a big setup. Uh, I kind of like rearranged my um, stream setup, my computer setup. So I, um, um, I basically wanted to, um, for one thing, I mean, we're going to be shooting to do some more face cams. I know you guys uh, have been... <laughs> eager to see more of my beautiful ugly face so we are going to be shooting to do that more um hopefully i i actually wanted to surprise you guys tonight i actually wanted to let's go ahead and get this switched over um i actually wanted to surprise you guys tonight with a with a face cam i mean y'all would have uh y'all would have immediately like been like why the hell are you streaming it's, or instead of being like why the hell are you streaming um, then you'd be like, oh my god, it's PG. Um, but I'll try to surprise you guys another time for that. Um, uh, but we are, um, um, my setup is pretty cool. Um, we actually, um, um I actually kind of set it up in a way that it's going to be, um, a little more simple whenever you guys are looking at my ugly face. Um, I wish he did the face, face cam. I kind of wish to, I would kind of wish so too. I actually, uh, kind of prepared the stream to be for a face cam. Um, maybe if I can actually get OBS to do it while I'm while I'm uh, uh, playing, um, we could actually um, I could actually give you guys a little preview. But um, other than that, let's go ahead and get the show in the road. I've seen uh, a video where PG did a face cam, but it's like two years old. Yeah, I did one for I did one a couple of times for uh, I think like small videos, maybe Power and Revolution, maybe one for the political process. I don't know. Um, I can't remember the last time I did it on on stream. We need a face update. Yeah, whatever. Stop, uh, what, what's so what's so good about my face? There's nothing good about it. I'm ugly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, how do you get packs to donate money to you? I actually don't know. Ask for it. I also do apologize. Um, I don't know if you guys actually remember from my DC Perspective stream. I actually am a little sick. I'm getting over the sickness that I've had. Um, I don't know what it was, but um, I, I'm, I'm sort of getting over it now. Um, so, um, all right, let's go ahead and do this. And so we're playing again. We're playing this uh, same thing. Josh Hodges, 50 years old. I mean, he's, uh, he's going through his years, isn't he? Hillsborough County, New Hampshire, 50th Senate State House District, 9th State Senate District, and the 2nd Congressional District, which has actually been changing hands um, every now and then. Um, all right, and then we actually look at our history. We look work for a local computer business from 2000 to 2006. Lost a job during the 2008 financial crisis. Chair of the local precinct from 2006 to 2010. He was the advisor to the governor of New Hampshire from 2009 to 2015. He was U.S. representative from 2021 to 2027. Three terms. Um, and then uh, we are now on our second term as governor of New Hampshire. We could actually go for a Senate position if we wanted to. Um... I think one district is already blue, and then the other, um, I think we're gonna have to check on that again. Senate. Class one, we have no class one seats, so we're gonna be class two and three. So in the 2026 election, it was a pickup for, um, it was a pickup for, uh, the Democrats, actually, in a class two. Um, that is a Senate, uh, that is a Democratic hold. That was in 2028. So class two, we actually are going to be seeing class two, uh, next year. So that's going to be, um, I mean, we could run for that position if we wanted to. So should we stay as governor and run for another term as governor and continue our, uh, Republican hold as the, in, on the governor's mansion? Um, or should we go for the Senate? I only got a couple of people watching this right now. Um, again, I, 
I know it's kind of unusual for me to be streaming this late. Um, this late, but I just kind of, kind of just wanted to, um, I haven't, I don't think I've streamed, um, political process in a little bit. Um, so I just wanted to, uh, kind of like, uh, talk about a couple of things, uh, talk about like what's going on right now. Um, and then we can just, um, because, uh, for one thing, What's your guys' thoughts on Caitlyn Jenner running for governor of California? It was announced today that uh, Caitlyn Jenner would be an, would be running for the governorships, the, go the governor's mansion in California. Um, so it's it's interesting. I actually did not think that Caitlyn Jenner was going to be running in that governor's race. Uh, but what's uh, what's your guys' thoughts on it? Ellie and Claire says the recall effort is unlikely to succeed, so it's doubtful that she'll recreate what Arnold Schwarzenegger did in 2003. Yeah, see, that's the th oh, man. <coughs> Told you I'm a little sick. That's the thing about it is that um, in 2003, because I mean, we had a Republican governor of California as early or as uh, as recently as 2010, as LTE put it. Um, and the only reason that the uh, the recall effort actually succeeded back in 2003 is mainly because uh, uh, I think it was uh, Jerry Davis. It was Davis, something Davis, Gary. I think it was Gary. Uh, Gary Davis was actually very unpopular at the time, and there was a uh, California was going through an electrical crisis. And I mean, we are going through our own crisis as well. I mean, they're, they're like the, sim the the similarities are there. There's a crisis going on, and a lot of people are unhappy with the way that the current governor has been, um, I guess, uh, conducting themselves. You know, they're basically having the harshest lockdown ish, uh, orders in the country, and then they're going out to dinner, you know, without a mask and anything. Um, they may have, may or not have had a mask, you know, they walked in, but I don't know. Um, see, I'm not going to be sitting here just saying like, oh, like, look at the hypocrite. Like, he's such a hypocrite. Because, I mean, I, I kind of feel indifferent about Gavin Newsom, personally. There was a storm in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Yeah, that's another reason why I wanted to stream is because I knew there was, a, there was a, another storm coming in. And it's actually going to be hitting here around 11 o'clock, so... Um, so shortly after the stream should end, um, I am going to be getting hit by a storm. I'm going to be watching a situation. Got my little weather radio handy. Um, I actually turned it off just, uh, so it doesn't go off and you guys freak out. Some, you know, some of your headphone users rip them. Uh, legislation. Let's go ahead and look. Look at our metrics, look at our budgets. And we are operating with a near $1 billion surplus. So we're doing good. And by the way, I think, I think again, we should, uh, again, I'm going to ask this question again, because I know you guys, I know you have a, I, that was overshadowed by the, um, by my, uh, uh, Caitlyn Jenner question, but, um, what should I run, f run for Senate? Should I um in 2032 we got a senate election coming up um there's going to be a class two seat that is going to be up for election and um should i run for it should i run for it if i do lose that race i will still have the governor's race that i will be able to hold on to um so i so my job is basically secured um either way 
uh, thinking I'm asleep, huh? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm feeling like I'm asleep, too. It's just kind of fundraising right now through the year. JR Fire, welcome to the live stream. You look familiar. I think you've been here before, but welcome, welcome, welcome. And uh, Ellie and Claire, I've never seen you here before. I just wanted to give you a quick shout out. Um, so thank you so much for joining in on the stream and on chat. Um, I do appreciate everyone that does uh, join in on chat. Uh, wait, New Hampshire's governor elections happen every two years. Yes, they do, Caden. Um, but unfortunately, in uh, the case of the political process, um, it's just kind of like a little more simpler for the code in the game to kind of like have elections happen every four years. Um, I actually did some research on it and I found out, I was like, oh, they have elections every two years. I didn't know that. Um, Philip Strait, uh, sounds a little familiar, but, um, I'm going to say again, welcome to the live stream. Anyone new that is joining in, go ahead and they'll put your... Say something in the chat and I will give you a quick shout out. I haven't been on a live stream before, but I watched a lot of the older ones. So I thank you. I appreciate I always I, everyone was just like, I always watch the older ones, and I'm just like, yeah, I do that too. I, I actually kind of get that because I sit there and I binge watch. Whenever I find a channel that I like, I just go through it and I just watch them. Um, I'm a content creator and I'm also an avid YouTube watcher. There's a lot of channels that I like. 48. Also going to be watching the presidential primaries as they happen. All right, State Representative Moses Stone will not seek re-election as State Senator Jordan Gibbons has decided to retire and will not seek re-election. So again, um, I'm going to go ahead and ask this one more time: Should we go for Senate? Um, if you guys don't really say anything, or you, I mean, you got y'all can say no. Um, kind of like I'm leaving this up to chat. Uh, should I run? for the United States Senate. And we, we again, we have the governor's, the governor's mansion um, as kind of like a fallback. We got two years before our next election. So we can theoretically run. And then if we win, you know, we go to the Senate. And if we lose, then we still have the state of uh, New Hampshire to govern. POV PG shot a person on accident in front of you with the shotgun when hunting. Okay, um, I, are you calling me Dick Cheney? Like, I don't... I've actually never been hunting before, ironically. Um, I am not Dick Cheney. I don't know if that was a pop culture reference or something. Do some fundraising before we do anything. Are you seeing these comments, PG? I can't see them. Well, get some, get better internet. Hmm. I guess I, I I guess uh we only have one person that really said anything, so I guess we're gonna go ahead and go present it. leave a protege in place we're gonna do Nicholas Carlisle yeah let's do Nicholas Carlisle he'll take my place as governor he was a CEO he should run for president next possibly who is this President Hodges I'm down for it all right, let's go ahead and run for that state senate or a U.S. Senate position. Aaron Spears led us through several successful campaigns. We will enact him as our campaign manager. Um, and create a flat tax, um, increase the minimum wage. 
reduce the income tax. Let's reduce poverty. And let's reduce crime. We will take some polls as we uh, go forward with our campaign. Should be getting a lot of money every turn. Look at that. Yeah, and now we can max out our staff. And we can take a poll, voter intention. Charges and we are number two right now. Yeah, we need to. I think we're like a moderate, moderate right now, so we need to go conservative, moderate. Conservative, moderate. Yeah, that should help us out. Josh Hodges. Yep, that absolutely did help us out. All right, we have the final governor's budget that we're going to be handing off. Um, Yeah, we're just going to leave it with the surplus. I think that's what we're going to do. Rosworthy, thank you so much for becoming a member. Looks like you got the second badge. Means that you've been a member for more than a month, so I do appreciate the support that you have been giving me um, on this channel. Guys, if you guys want to support me in a more personal way, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you have not. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get some donations rolling in. Some political donations for my Senate campaign, guys. Let's go ahead and get some more uh, uh, campaign uh, contributions. That's what we're going to call them. Um, so let's go ahead and do some more fundraising. We're going to be National Education Union. You think Joe Biden is a moderate? Not really. He's, he tries to make it look like he's a moderate, but uh, he's he's not exactly the best case for it. I don't know. Medicaid expansion, poverty, state minimum wage. Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and get that up. $12, my guy. Denied a hearing. Jeez. Oh, that sucks. PG's age is... PG's age is PG. Simple. Yes. Alright, let's go ahead and get some field offices opened up. We're gonna do 20. Look at all that money. We're gonna get a... A lot more once the uh, uh, once we win that nomination. Let's go ahead and do another poll. Josh Hodges, we are at 41%, so we are eating up a significant amount. If we can even get our uh, rally size to about 10,000, turn out to 10,000, then we are going to be set for this primary election. You know PG gets cocky whenever he's Hillsboro. You know PG gets cocky whenever he's just sitting there like, we're all set. We don't have to do anything else. Let's do half a million dollars into general economy ads. Taxes. Mike Pompeo over considering a run for president. Um, I like the right wing. I like the right. I like some of the new right. But I kind of don't like Mike Pompeo. I thought he was a great Secretary of State. But as president, I, I don't know. I wouldn't really... 
I wouldn't really be rooting for him if it, if it was, uh, you know, it's going to be a very full primary in 2024 um, if Trump doesn't run. Say that. Um, so if Mike Pompeo runs, I'm not going to be too excited if he wins the nomination. Really depends on his platform, but I just know he's very um, overtly Christian. And, uh, you know, I, ha I have no issues with religion. Um, but I don't want that to affect how the way he governs. And I know that's probably what he's going to be doing. So Mike Pompeo, you know, I, I really, really liked his work as the Secretary of State. Um, but, but yeah, uh, it's just, just a, uh, mixed bag on that man. Should win this election by about 10 points. Hey, more than 10 points, that was about 15. Alright, we're gonna be going against Claude McCain, McLean. It's like an older version of Bruce Willis. Campaign. We should be getting a crap ton of money. Eh. Let's go ahead and close ten or five field offices. Should be able to get more money. Three hundred thousand. All. If we get a considerable amount of the Democratic support. We, sh <coughs> we should be able to uh, to win pretty by at least maybe three points. Might be a little more difficult because it's a because it's a federal Senate election. So we have fifty percent. We're ahead right now. Taxes, economy, and Social Security is going to be our policy axe. Taxes, taxes. Economy, uh, increased per capita income, and social security. I don't know why. He's a Democrat. He's a damn Democrat. And he doesn't like social security? How in the world? How in the world? I mean, that's all we gotta do. That's all we. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even mad. It's just like, how can he be? How can he be that stupid? Poverty, tech ad. Freaking hell. spending a lot of money on that attack ad when the election comes. We're going to try to get her turnout to about 50,000. We could try to do that. And we could try 30,000. I think we're going to be doing it around 30, 35,000, maybe 40,000 at the most. Still a lot of turnout. Representative Grover Nixon is still in office. We may be able to get the 50,000. And this is also good because we're helping down ballot races. Do we have a presidential election? Oh, we do. Ah, damn it. I didn't watch. I always forget to watch the presidential elections. All right, let's see who the nominees are. Um, Gavin Garrett seems to have won New Hampshire.
and in the uh, Republican primary. Um, George Kemp. Mr. Kemp. Sounds familiar. Um, so he is the one. All right, let's, um, uh, record on policies or advocate for moderate principles. Let's go ahead and attack the, uh, our opponent's record and policies. Let's do that. Fundraising. And market. about half the money that we got so that's about six hundred thousand of the vote to 47.8% of the vote. We went actually by about 40,000 votes, which is uh, nearly 40,000 votes, which is actually a pretty significant lead in a, in a, in a state like New Hampshire. So 52% uh, will take it, and we'll try to expand that lead to at least around what we were winning in, uh, the, uh, in our governor's race. And so we are elected to the Senate for six years um, for our first term as a United States Senator. Um, Senator Hodges will now be entering Capitol Hill. You did a great job. You want to watch presidential election? Let's go ahead and watch it. North Carolina, where are you going? They go red. Ohio goes red. New Hampshire, you going to go red. Florida goes red. Maine goes red. New Hampshire goes red. Arizona goes red, Missouri goes red, and it looks like we are looking at a Republican presidency in the next four years, and he wins the entire Rust Belt. Looks like around uh, what Trump actually won with, um, with the addition of Maine at large and the state of New Hampshire. Why the hell are you streaming at 11 p.m., LMAO? Well, it's 10 o'clock for me. You know, there's something, there's a beautiful thing called time zones, man. <coughs> there's a beautiful, beautiful thing called time zones. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and look. Senate, what are we looking at? We did flip that seat. Republicans main gain one seat, and we split the Senate, actually. So we are the flip, the lone flip in the 2032 elections is around the time that sean Irwin actually became president so um if i ever make merch i will i will be making Irwin 2032 badges so uh good uh do not uh hesitate to support pg uh whenever he makes merch for some stupid reason District 2 is won by a Republican. We are looking at a fully red, fully red New Hampshire, and the Republicans gain 17 seats in the House of Representatives. It's a pretty substantial gain, 239 seats for the Republicans and not 190 seat, 196 seats for the Democrats. Let's see what kind of seats we're talking about. Uh, Oklahoma District 5 is a flip. Pennsylvania District 8 is a flip. Pennsylvania 17 is actually Connor Lamb's district outside of Pittsburgh. That's a flip. That is a flip. Uh, Rhode Island District 2 
Wow, look at that, 53% in Rhode Island District 2. Let's go ahead and look to see. Uh, let me see, that is on the western side of the state, about south of Providence. That's a pretty, that's a pretty okay, pretty okay win. That is a D plus four, according to PVI. What's up, bro? Finally made it to a stream. Yeah, I'm actually streaming late enough to where some people actually are able to uh, see it. Texas District 7 was a flip. Texas, uh, Texas 23 was a flip. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next year, and then we will select our committees. We actually have 75,000 political points. We should be entering a pretty substantial amount of political points in this next yeah we gain about 15,000 political points um on that turn nomination process for party leader and that was our last week as governor former governor hodges would you say Election watch analysis, welcome to the live stream. Well, I think we will be streaming with you guys tomorrow, so I will be streaming tomorrow again. We're going to be doing another podcast, so do not uh, hesitate to uh, hit that bell notification icon so you guys do not miss any podcasts that I do make on this channel. Nomination process for a party leader. Um, Let's see what happens if I do it. Dennis, Dennis, Dennis. We actually get 12 votes. Go ahead and vote for herself. We are 13. We are actually number two. So they become the Senate Majority Leader. So let's go ahead and do the caucus chair. And we get number two again. Unfortunately, we are already getting support. Ironically. Finance Committee, this is tax and revenue legislation, all has jurisdiction over various programs such as Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, as well as any other program funded by a payroll tax. And then we have the Appropriations Committee. <coughs> it, it oversees the appropriations process, which allocates the funding needed to run all federal government agencies and programs that the appropriations process, the federal government would shut down. Um, let's... Uh, let's be the committee chair of the Judiciary Committee, and let's put ourselves on the uh, Senate Finance Committee. So we'll be the committee chair of the Judiciary. Actually, one of my best uh, favorite uh, committees to serve on. We will do some... Uh, we will do some... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, crime reform. So let's do... Social Security, pensions, and family policy. In Judiciary, we are already the chair. Chair and ranking member of committee automatically serve on all subcommittees. Ten million people. All right. You support proposed this legislation. Let's go ahead and support it. And it's going to be split 50-50. That's going to be fun. Do you have a Twitch? Yes, I do, but I do not use it. Um, I've, uh, I've thought about going over to uh, Twitch. Um, just to kind of see if I if I could actually get into it. But I just haven't I haven't really found anything about Twitch that kind of like uh, makes me want to use it. And I just like YouTube. Um... So that's uh, the, my situation with Twitch. Who is this crucial swing vote? Joe Manchin, obviously. Public housing amendments. You want to create an amendment? Oh, you guys want to see the crucial swing vote? Okay, let's uh, let's oppose. Oh, I was. <laughs> Uh, decreases eligibility. Hey, you guys want to see a, you guys want to see a, a swing vote? Watch this. Ah, I'm the swing vote. Look at that. 
all of that and it failed. Now everyone's now everyone probably hates me. Am I on the Republican Conservative Committee? Can I change my caucus real quick? Eight percent, eighty-six percent. so little money for being a senator oh my god that was the that was the map nice look at that I barely even won I mean I will I lost more counties than I actually yikes yes hundred Actually, let's try this. What if I actually do... 100. How much am I getting? 10. Eh. Let's, let's look at 50-50 again. So that's 6,000, 6,000. Yeah, I think, that, I think we can do that. That way we're getting at least a couple of political points every turn, and then we can kind of like use that to our leverage in the next couple of years. Legislation submitted to the committee establishes an assault weapons ban. Hell to the no. We will not give that thing a hearing. Absolutely not. Speaking of, before we end this legislative session, should I start calling my political process live streams legislative sessions? Three years federal federal prison sentences for drug criminals. Let's go ahead and, and eliminate those. Legislation submitted to the committee. Let's go ahead and give that yes a hearing. Um, vote on the legislation. Let's support it, and it passes the committee. And then it goes to a full vote on the house. Looks like you got about two thirds of the Senate. Goes over to the house, 30 to nine. We're gonna pass that right as the new year comes in. Eliminates. Medicaid expansion has been eliminated at state level. Support. We're just doing that for political clout necessarily. I don't really like it whenever they get rid of a, you know, free community college or Medicaid expansion, but uh, I just kind of do this just so I don't really get the Republicans to hate me. hearing a lot of amendment amendments many hearings so let's get rid of those so support HR1 support HR2 support HR3 Okay, so HR1. Actually, I will support that. Uh, 65 to 66, we're gonna support. 22, 23 to 22, it actually goes down. We'll support that. We'll say, we'll actually look. I'm not gonna say any amendments. We're over at this instance. <clears throat> Let's oppose the amendment. And it passes. Um, we actually have another midterm election this year, so we will The music drowns out your voice some for midterm election this year, so we 
Maybe it's because I was looking away from the microphone. My microphone is picking me up fine. I got a new microphone, actually. I got a new microphone, and it literally has a voice meter on it, where it literally kind of like a... Like it lights up when I when I start speaking and it kind of like shows me how loud my voice is. Um, I should. Yeah, I mean, the music on my OBS is literally kind of turned down a little bit. So um, I don't know um, if, it, if anyone else hears it, I, I will change it. Absolutely a support. Rule of rent assistance. Um, let's go ahead and support it. And education grants for low income communities. Go ahead and support it. Okay, yeah, it's definitely when you turn away from the mic. Yeah, I think I was kind of like looking away for a second and I was kind of like while I was talking, I was kind of like looking at something else. Um, I think I was looking at my, like, uh, other monitor or something. I like, three monitors, so I'm just kind of like, a, it's all kind of like just something to pay attention to. And I was kind of looking away, and so, yeah, this, uh, the mic that I have right now, um, basically, it's like, if you're not speaking, like, the way I am, and if I start looking away from it, I, I actually can see right now how it's kind of not reading the same way as whenever I'm speaking like this. So I can, I can, I can see that. I'm just pillow chatting right now. I'm just pillow talking with a bitch. I'm just pillow talking. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm gonna go end myself. So we got legislative votes, gun supports, and a Republican defects. Kentucky Senator Claire Guzman. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be sending someone over there. Uh, go ahead and support that. Please do not swing over, Guzman. Please do not swing over on this. Yes, we get it passed. Amendment hearing. We'll say no to an amendment and we will vote for it as is. We will oppose the amendment. The amendment passes. Then we will support it as it is. Both chambers of commerce, both chambers of Congress, have passed different versions of the same bill. The bill will now go to a conference committee, which will make the versions identical and send the resulting bill back to both chambers for a final vote. And public housing will support. Let's go ahead and just campaign. I'm gonna be doing a lot of fundraising. Someone had a really sexy name right here. It was like Thaddeus something. Where is he? I want to see him again. Rudolph Jordan? Thaddeus Hildebrand. Who the hell is this man? Thaddeus. Thaddeus. That is... Oh, man. Let's get Thaddeus in there. I wish he was my protege. Amendment hearing. Health and Human Services. We're not going to be doing any amendments. Rally with Senate candidate Thaddeus Hildebrand. Let's go ahead and campaign. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of campaigning then to we'll try to get him into office. He's going to be the best Thaddeus we've ever elected since. Um, it was uh, Thaddeus Stevens back in the, back in the 18, 1800s. Look at that. Look at that. 66,000 people. 
Uh, can we get can we get up to like 70,000? 76,000? Can we get up to 100,000 by the time election day comes around? I think we're going to be able to get to 100. Universal background check. Should I? Actually introduce our colleague from from New Hampshire. I'll go ahead and do it. See if see what happens. President opposes Senate Bill Four. Hundred thousand people are now turning out for the Republican Party. It is a mind-boggling large number. Let's see if that worked. Senate, Thaddeus Hildebrand wins, and we get two Republican sender, senators from the state of New Hampshire. Uh, that awesome. We get my man Thaddeus Hildebrand. He is now the next senator of the state of New Hampshire, and um, he actually won by a wider margin than we did. So 52.9% of the votes and so we have two we have two uh republican house members from both districts of new hampshire pretty sure by 2034 they would have more than two districts but oh well um and then now they um should they should have a actually i think our protege ran for governor so oh okay well Cody Granger. Cody Granger. Let's go. Protege. Nicholas Carlisle. What? You lost your election? What? Excuse me. He lost the damn primary. But we are we are dealing with the completely red. We're dealing with the completely red New Hampshire. We got a red governor, two red house districts, uh, two senators, Republican, and... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ow, ouch. I did all that work, and you guys just lose it all. All that money is like... Damn it. Unemployment front. You even got. Uh, well, at least they didn't screw up the un unemployment fund. Like, geez. Academic score is going down. But they are improving the tax situation. They always really, really didn't like it under my administration. Usually people don't like it, but then all other aspects go up, so it kind of cancels out. We're gonna be selecting some committees again. We have uh, city elections. President George Kemp will be seeking the re-election in the next year. Nomination process for party leader. And um, I think we actually did take control of the Senate. We have 100,000 political points now. Let's start our hat in the ring again. Steve Haynes. Josh Hodges, we actually lost supporters. Select your committee's nomination process for party chair. Let's go ahead and uh, throw our hat in the ring. And look at that. We can become the nominee, uh, the chairperson of the moderate Republican caucus. As chairperson, you have incredible influence over how members of your caucus will vote on legislation. So long as <coughs> you have a good relationship with your caucus, they will vote for you on all legislative proposals. Proposals. It's kind of funny how I literally, like, it was literally tied two and two, and I was the deciding vote. Let's go ahead and look and put ourselves on a committee, and we are not able. Let's go ahead and do uh, Veterans Affairs Committee Chair, and again put ourselves on the Senate Finance Committee, Social Security as well. And the Veterans Affairs Committee does not have any subcommittees. That's uh, odd. Um. How many more 
more years do we have for an election? 2032, so that's going to be... 2038 is going to be our next um, uh, general election. Let's go ahead and look. So again, we have a red governor. Two red house seats. But the, uh, well, look at that. Democrats actually gained in the Senate. In the House. And then in the Senate... Politicians, elections, federal, senate. Speed. Where's the balance? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, 51. So that was the gain that we actually see. You can actually see. I mean, we're again, we're that's really cool. We actually have a split Iowa, split Michigan, split uh, North Carolina. Split Georgia and split Florida. But then we got this little red colony all the way up in the north. Good old New Hampshire. That's all because of me. You need to try and flip Cali to red or New York to red. Um, and then it says uh, really hard. Oh, well, you need to change demographics. Yeah. I would actually have to probably change demographics. Well, I mean, in the beta, um, the demographics are a little more fair whenever it comes to some of the larger states, um, especially like California, Texas, New York, Pennsylvania, uh, Wisconsin, Michigan. Uh, those states actually have mass. Uh, like every state now has like instead of 5% independent, it's like 15% independent. Um so the the party power is a little little kind of like laxed back <laughs> in the beta um so should make georgia blue i've thought about it that was actually it was literally either a red new hampshire or a blue georgia so i had the opportunity to do a blue georgia but people didn't vote for that um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, it is about 1030. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, uh, go ahead and start wrapping this, uh, live stream up. Um, I only wanted to come on for a little bit. Kind of like, uh, um, just kind of discuss a couple of things. Just do a simple stream. Um, PG make the map blue. How so? Should I just... So what are we doing? We are talking about the highest ranking senators of all time is megan hendrickson Let's try to get up there before we leave office holden stern current megan megan she is the incumbent senator from massachusetts she has been in office since 1997 interesting City council member, one term, state representative, two term, one term, state senator, and three term U.S. representative, and then seven term U.S. senator. It's crazy you can spend so many years on the freaking Senate like that. Caucus, moderate, Republican, chairperson is Joss Hodges, and vice chair is Dennis Osborne. And I actually have less political points than him. That's interesting. Look at that. Yeah, I'm like number two in, in terms of political points. He's from Utah. He is from Utah. That's, that's actually really cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue this another time. Um, so guys, if you guys like this, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Go ahead and join the Discord if you guys have not. So you guys do not miss whenever I go live or whenever I make another video or just to have a simple conversation about various topics. Um, so again, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, guys, if uh, you guys like this. Um, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything whenever I, uh, again, go live or whenever I make a video. So I uh, will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.